So si Ma'am Chini po na kilala ko talaga siya sa Taiwan dahil napaka, alam mo, she really has a heart of gold. Grabe. Miss Chini is beautiful inside, inside out. out. And of course, external features, yung outlook niya sa buhay. Ang ganda ng mga, ano niya, mga content niya. Make-ups or what? Meron din siyang mga music lessons or what? Diba dami? Diba? Gusto po kayo from Taiwan. Um, okay naman po. And uh, I'm very happy kasi I'll be sharing this uh, Friday with you guys. And I can't wait to share. Wow. Yes. Sa Beam and Go. To all viewers, hada. Maayong gabi sa mga taga Cebu. Particular po ako sa mga... Yes, I'm very uh, concerned with the Filipinos kasi uh, talagang school pa lang. Nalaman ko na talagang very important na uh, we should preserve our values and culture. When I first met her, parang winelcome niya ako kahit stranger. Si John, <laughs> stranger ako. But she welcomed us na parang... Alam mo, nakikinig talaga siya. Sabi na lang. Na lang niya yung ginagawa na. Ano po yung issue, yung mga issues na natatandaan din na nangyari. Na nangyari. At paano may nangyari. Usual problem po, whether you are uh, married, resident, or OFW dito, is abuse. Could be domestic abuse or physical abuse. And then, other than that na problema din po ng mga uh, Filipino or mga kababayan natin dito sa Taiwan is yung depression. Dahil wala nga pong fam family dito, wala kang nakakausap. And sometimes, the culture of the Filipinos itself, parang hurting someone else's feeling. Kaya nga po, meron akong vlog na Phil Thai. This is really to develop a new culture for the Filipinos. Kasi, I would really want to have uh, parang balance or equal treatment sa lahat. Ibig sabihin, wala na pong labeling. Whether you are a foreign worker or you are a resident, you are married to to anyone from a certain country. Isa lang po yung tawag sa inyo, Pilipino po. Kung meron ako po ba sa akin may isi-share kung paano natin matutunuhin yung mga OFW dyan na nagsasuffer sa same stories na meron sila. Ano po ba yun? Paano natin? Yung cheapest way lang. Number one, yung hindi po talaga proper ang paghilamos. So how do you wash your face? Um, Pagkagising po ng umaga, by the time you wake up, you should wash your face. Hindi pwedeng mamaya. Kasi bakit po? Parang pong pag natulog ka, pag gising mo, you thought you have a beautiful skin, but lumabas po yung mga basura na dating nandiyan the whole day. How do you wash your face? Number one, you should use a good uh, facial wash. Halimbawa, if dry skin ka, oily skin ka, the ba or normal skin, you should base your uh, facial wash kung ano yung skin type mo. Sa mga Filipinos, we use um, bath soap. That's not good for the skin. Kasi talagang nag, um, nag-dry up yung skin mo. So once you wash it often, kasi diba alam ko, uso po yung mga uh, Kojic soaps po dyan para pumuputi po tayo. But whitening your skin while making it thin, lalo lang pong uh, mag magda-dark yung skin and uh, mag mamumula-mula dahil mainit po dyan, so masusunog yung mukha nyo, mas malaki pa yung problema. Wash your face, pag lumabas ka, pag uwi mo, you wash your face. Bago ka matulog, kung naliligo ka sa gabi, you should wash your face. With regards to diet, yan po yung pinaka-importante. Kasi, um, hindi lang kasi yung panglabas, dapat yung pangloob. I know, marami pong ma-offend dito, but I must say, yung diet natin sa Pilipinas is really bad. Now, I just want to correct also the common misconception. When you say diet, it doesn't mean dying. Ibig sabihin hindi kumakain. That's wrong. Okay? When you say diet, it means your manner of eating. So, pag may magsasabi sa inyo na, Oy, nagda-diet ka ba? That's wrong because everyone's eating. When you say diet, it means how do you eat in a day? From our culture, na mahilig tayo sa meat. We can, we can balance it with Anong, anong klaseng gulay? Kasi this is also part of our uh, cooking na ang gulay is talagang nalalata siya. Pag nilalagay sa sabaw, talagang latang latana yung gulay. So, wala na po yung nutrition po doon. So, ano po ba yung paraan na pwedeng kainin, lalo na ng mga bata at ng family po ninyo, na medyo fresh pa po yung gulay? Una, pwede nyo pong i-blanch or parang 
uh, pakuluan ng konte and then lagyan nyo lang po ng uh, uh, soy sauce. Parang timplahan. You can also have a stir fry. Kasi pag na stir fry siya, hindi din po nalalanta. Hindi din po nawawala yung nutrition ng gulay kasi hindi po siya nasusunog. Kung meron kang meat, you should have enough veggies sa iyong uh, pagkain. Kasi yung prutas, that's another story. Yung prutas po, that's our parang daily dose. Yan. I just want to make this simpler para sa mga kababayan natin. Okay, lahat po ng kinakain natin, uh, whether nutritious man yan o hindi, ang pinaka-main na pumapasok sa katawan natin is sugar. Tapos yung excess is pinatawag nating taba. Bakit kailangan natin kumain ng tama or sakto, which is go, grow, and glow? Meat kasi, mahirap yan i-digest. So, yung vegetable, yun yung tumutulong para mad, talagang madigest siya ng maayos. Para mas okay yung nutrition na makuha ng katawan. So, na yung pagiging fit po, hindi po yung uh, misconception natin na sexy. Kasi gusto ko pong i-correct yan eh. Kasi marami po talaga mga kababayan natin na sinasabi nila, oh chubby, sexy. Oh payat ka, sexy. That's what we call body shaming. So that's one thing I don't really want to happen all the time because that's part of our culture. So we should correct that. Now, when we talk about fit, fit means that's the average of your height. Kaya ako po sinabi to kasi um, ang laging mga kababayan natin pumupunta sa gym, their target is to be sexy. Well, that is a wrong target kasi yung sexiness po, wala po siyang standard. Yung pagiging fit ang merong tamang bracket. So, how do you know that? You should just Google, search for um, height and weight chart, and you will know, para sa male, may tama kang bracket ng uh, anong, anong weight mo na dapat i-maintain. When I got pregnant with my first and second child, tumaba po ako ng hanggang 25 kg. So, that's from 40 kilograms to 65 kilograms. And ano po yung gagawin? Proper exercise. Ano po yung proper exercise? Like, hindi po yung, ah, pag my friend ka, punta kayo ng gym. Pag wala, hindi ka pupunta. That's not gonna work. If you are working, and then you wake up in the morning, pag hindi ka siya ng oras, you do that at noon. Kung hindi naman kaya, then in the evening. So, it must be the same schedule, the same time. So, at least 30 minutes, sasayaw ka, mag-stretch ka, or mag walk ka. Actually, even walking, it would work well. Pero kung gusto mo talaga pong lumiit yung belly mo, you have to run. Kasi you have to burn those excess fats. I did Zumba. Yan po yung talagang nagpabalik ng katawan ko because I wanted to get back to my real shape. So, dun po nagtutone lahat yung muscles ko. But, uh, para sa mga nahihirapan pong sumayaw, then you can go for jogging or fast walking. Kasi it's good for your heart. So at the same time, hindi ka lang nagiging fit, hindi lang natutone yung muscle mo, you can also have a healthy heart. And that's the most important thing. Ang importante kasi na maintain mo yung nagiging routine, ibig sabihin the same time, to make it effective. Pag paiba-iba ng oras, it won't really help you still. Kung gusto mo talagang bumalik sa sarili mong uh, size or average weight, it must be at the same time. Hindi po yung morning, tapos lunch, and then dinner. Take note, kung umaga, nakain ka, after an hour, saka ka lang pwedeng mag-exercise. So, 30 minutes, enough na po yun. So, pag sa gabi, kumain ka ng 7. 8 o'clock, you do the exercise. 30 minutes, tapos ka ng 8.30. So, mga 10 o'clock, pwede ka nang matulog. It won't, it won't really bother your sleeping habit. You call it customization of your time. You should customize your, your means of living sa base sa kung ano yung oras mo. Kasi you cannot, uh, you cannot base your time to other people's time. Kasi iba po yung oras nila. Pinakaunang challenge is body shaming. Ano po ba yung body shaming? Um, Halimbawa, kung mataba ka, people will say, Uy, ang taba mo! At pag, pag pumayat ka naman, Uy, ang payat-payat mo! There was one article written by a Filipino-American. She's very young and she hated her relatives sa Philippines. Kasi, so yun nangyayari, every time na nakikita sila ng mga aunties, mga lolas, mga friends, they will always say, Oh, ang taba-taba mo! And they don't know that you know, deep inside, they are hurting the person. People will see me sometimes kasi yung iba na meet ko nung buntis ako. So, they didn't know that I was this size before ako nagkaroon ng asawa or nagkaroon ng baby. So, they will, they will normally say na, 
bakit ang payat-payat mo, hindi ka ba kumakain? Every time they say that to me, isa lang po yung sagot ko, I have my average weight. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po ako taba, hindi din po ako payat. Kasi, alam ko yung height ko. So, pag ganito mga challenges, para sa mga kababayan natin, you should learn your height. Kasi, we need to have um, reformat sa mentality sa atin. Ibig sabihin, hindi dahil mataba ang bata, malusog siya. No. Kasi, to be honest with you guys, dito, ang mga doctors dito sa Taiwan, once you go for a physical checkup, and lumampas yung weight mo at least mga 5 or 10 kg sa average weight mo, pula na po yan lahat. So, ano po ba yung unang nagiging uh, apektado if you are overweight? Very common uh, problem or illness sa atin is diabetes and kidney because of too much eating. This is one way to make our kababayans realize that it's very important to maintain your average weight para hindi po nagda-double work yung yung katawan po ninyo. Dahil po sa overweight, dahil po sa uh, excessive eating of salty, fatty, and uh, sweet na pagkain sa Pilipinas, we all have common problems, diabetes and kidney. Let's not talk about a lot of ganito mga problema kasi talagang uh, siguro iiyak na yung mga kababayan natin kasi sasabi nila, um, Jen, what will we do? Kasi lahat ng pagkain natin talaga may sugar. Too big. Yeah. Kasi, kung, kung halimbawa umiinom po kayo ng uh, matamis, talagang sobrang tamis sa atin, which hindi na mamalayan mga kababayan natin, all you have to do is drink enough water. So, it should be equal. Kung isang baso, yung ininom mo na sugar, so isang baso or doble pa dalawang baso yung tubig. Kasi, tubig talaga, it cleanses not only our body outside, also our insides of our body. GERD. Ayan po yung pinaka-common na uh, digestive problem sa Pilipinas. Dahil sa too much uh, fats na kinakain. So, ang, ang pinaka-the best way to really help your body, first thing in the morning when you wake up, after po kayo maghilamos, after mag-toothbrush, you drink 200 to 300 ml of warm water. Na sabihin niyo, hindi ba pwedeng room temperature? Hindi po pwedeng malamig, no po. It should be warm. Bakit? Kasi kapag malamig, nagko-contract po yung anything. <laughs> Kahit bato, di ba? Nagko-contract po siya. So, when you drink warm, hindi po nasusugatan yung stomach nyo. In fact, na-exercise siya kasi nasa-stretch po siya before taking any solid. So, after drinking uh, warm water, mga 10 to 15 minutes, o oh, naligo ka na. After that, you can eat. So that's it. Actually, it's routine. Once you do that from the very, very beginning, medyo mahira pa. But once na parang uh, nasanay na yung katawan mo, you will really do that uh, automatically. Pag sobrang malamig po talaga yung nililigo, nagko-contract po talaga yung heart and it can't function well. And it could be one big cause ng heart stroke. Kapag high blood pressure, too much salt. You can you can eat um onion, yung raw. Dapat po yung yung puti, wag po yung purple. Wag po natin ibase yung kalusugan natin sa ibang tao. Para po sa lahat ng nanay at tatay, OFW man o hindi, what you should do is, number one, you should know kung ano po talaga yung height po ninyo and you go with your average weight. So from there, doon na po tayo pupunta sa step two. Step two is, you should, of course, have daily exercise. Kahit walking po, basta same time in the day, uh, it will be very effective na. And third, step three, yung pagkain. So, if you really can't stop eating meat, what you should do is to balance it with vegetable. So, wag po yung nalalatang mga vegetable. Just stir fry. Okay na po yun. Parang adobo na yun. So, masarap na po yun kainin. And at the same time, drink Water. Yan po yung napaka-importante na gawin bilang isang nanay. Kasi kapag hindi po tayo healthy, we can never be happy. So once our kids see us and we're not happy, we can never nurture a happy kid. Sa bahay pa lang, importante po yung happiness na nakukuha nila sa parents nila. Now, if, you are, if you're a mom and once you see yourself on the mirror and you're very unhappy, how could you teach happiness to your kid?